Hello, I'll show you how to create dynamic text in GeoGebra. Well, the first thing is you might wonder why you need it. And well, I'll show you why. As we see, we here have our triangle ABC and here is the angle alpha. And as you see here are two text boxes and in each of them we see the size of the angle. When I try to move one of the vertices, you see that the size of the angle is changing. But only in one of these text boxes it is exactly the same as we see in the triangle. And uh, the reason why it is like that it is the dynamic text option. This one, where it stayed the same as it was before, it's static text, where you have just written ex exact numbers and it stayed the same. But here it changes when it, whatever you do with the triangle. The same we see is with the length of the side and the area of the triangle. And uh, here we see it, it also changes in the formula. Now I'll show you some ways to create dynamic text. Uh, the easiest one is to just take the object from the al algebra view and drag it into the graphics view. Here we see angle alpha and here if we drag the vertices we see that the text, the text changes dynamically as we move the vertices. We can do the same with any segment or for example the area of the, of the triangle. The only thing is though that if you want to edit this, well, you, you can't exactly change the name. Well, but there are still some options that we can do. For example, if you click on a text, you can change the color. For example, let's take it, set it to green. You can make the text bold. You can change the size of it. And of course, you can drag it wherever you want it to be. Uh, so, as I said before, you may want to change the name of the of the area. For example, you wanted to say that it's the area of the triangle ABC. And to achieve that, you must uh, use the text tool. You click on it and then you click on the place where you wanted the text to appear. And here you can insert static text and also add some dynamic objects. For example, now I will write that I want to see the area of triangle ABC. And now I want to insert an object that will uh, that will show the area. And for me it's the only one. And here we can see the in the preview that uh, it will show the number. I push OK and uh, so now whenever I change the vertice you see that the area also changes. These are not the only things you can do. For example, you want to know what is the sum of two sides, for example, A and B. Well, I take the text tool and here I write A plus B. This is the static part, but in order to get the dynamic sum, I will use objects again. So I write, take A, write plus and B. As you see in the preview, you only get the separate numbers but we want to get the sum. So again, I take object A and I click into the object box and here I write plus B. And as you see in the preview box, I will get the answer I need. I say OK and now whenever I change another vertice, you see that the, t the sum also changes. Of course, you can also change the style of the text you have edited in your text box. You click on it and then you can also choose the color and the size and change the position of it. So, uh, and uh, there may be some cases when you, when you need something more specific, something more advanced. And here we can also use the text box. And uh, if we check latex formula, we can use, for example, roots and fractions and let's take that we want a fraction A and B. And uh, let's say we want to know what is the ratio of the sides A and B. So we can't write just A and B, we need to use the object again. So I just choose object A here and here I choose object B. And in order to get the actual answer 
I'll just do what I did before. I'll just type A, click on, click in here, and divide it by B. And that's how I get what I want.